What's going on guys? Welcome back to an Immaculate Grid video on the We Know Ball YouTube channel. It's been a minute. We've had a couple of requests. We've had a couple of people come through and go, hey, you know, I consider myself a sports fan. I know you're a sports fan, Ryan. You're a baseball guy. I liked seeing you test your baseball knowledge and baseball trivia skills on a semi-regular or regular basis with the Immaculate Grid. And what a great opportunity for anybody to test their skills with their trivia and their baseball knowledge or sports knowledge. As you can see here, Immaculate Grid Baseball, that's the one we play. And we may try out football here shortly. Basketball is not our strongest suit. We probably wouldn't perform very well. Hockey, no chance. The point is, if you're a fan of sports, if you're a fan of any of the big four, you can play Immaculate Grid at some capacity and test your knowledge, test your skills. And for today's video, we're gonna be doing the baseball one like we always do. We have the five minute timer set up. I don't know what number of Immaculate Grid it is specifically, but I do know that today is September 5th. It's Tuesday after Memorial Day. And we're gonna give it a run. We're gonna do our regular five minute timer. We're not gonna think too hard. We'll try to go for a little bit more rare than not rare, I guess, if that makes sense. You know, if you come across, um, you know, Red Sox and Yankees, let's say, and as an overlapping grid, not gonna choose Babe Ruth, right? Gonna try to go dig a little bit deeper uh, and, you know, not go Johnny Damon or Jacoby Ellsbury. Like, like go give it a little bit more thought, right? So either way, that's the approach for today. Just wanna to get it done in under five minutes with a decent enough rarity score. Try to get, I don't know, around 200, maybe under 200 if we can pull it off in the five minute timer. So Immaculate Grid, September 5th, 2023. Click the link, fire it up and uh, away we go. So we get the ads out of the way. Um, I think it's squared up for the most part. I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. Immaculate grid. Let's see. I uh, haven't even looked at it yet. Just making sure everything's fitting a uh, five minute timer and away we go. Okay. Red Sox, Phillies, A's, Cincinnati, Phillies and Cincinnati, Phillies and Cincinnati. Let's go with that one first. Cause I do feel like. There's some overlap. Man, those are some pretty common teams. Philly and Boston. Right away, I think we should go with Nick Pavetta. 3%. Love it. Not bad at all. Not a good, not a bad start there. Philadelphia and Oakland. Hmm. Philly and Oakland. Oakland 40 homer season. Oakland A's Hall of Famer. So we'll go with Raleigh Fingers for the Oakland A's Hall of Famer, 13%. Not too bad. Red Sox Hall of Famer. Give me Pedro Martinez. I love Pedro. The guy's the GOAT, 12%. That'll keep it nice and low. Cincinnati Reds Hall of Famer. Not Pete Rose, which is ridiculous. Joe Morgan, Johnny Bench, uh... Um, who else was on the big red machine? Tony Perez. Um, trying to think just more recently, like not the big name Reds guys, right? We talked about that. Um, 40 homer season for the Cincinnati Reds. Now, Adam Dunn got that done, no pun intended, pretty quickly. And that's one I can think of. Um, you know what? EU Hanyo Suarez, seven percent. Love that guess right there. EU Hanyo on the Reds. EU Hanyo slept on, by the way. That guy is productive. Forty homer season for the Red Sox. We could go Big Poppy. We could go Manny. Uh, we could go. Yeah, let's go Manny. Manny Ramirez, twenty percent. That's fine. Any opportunity you get to guess Manny Ramirez in the Immaculate Grid, you do it. Okay. Reds Hall of Fame. That's where we're kind of stuck here. And again, we had some answers, right? Johnny Bench, Joe Morgan, um, Tony Perez. I'm just trying to think of, you know, 
Why don't we go with the kid? Why don't we go Ken Griffey Jr.? 14%. I think that's a good enough guess because those other guys would have been higher. I don't think we have a number one answer yet on the board, which is also good. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about it later. We got a timer going here. Uh, Philly and Oakland. Philly and Oakland. Let's go Oakland A's 40 homer season. Mark McGuire. Um, Jose Canseco. Wonder if there's anybody more recent. Um, like when they were just when they were on fire. Joanna Cespedes, no. I mean, like maybe. Um. Yeah, I think we just gotta go Jose Canseco just for yeah, twenty six percent. That might be the number one answer. Um, and then a minute and a half here to get these final two. So Phillies and Reds. Um. Definitely feel like there's some here that I could that I could get pretty crafty with. Um, Phillies and Reds. Um, all right, here's a good one for Phillies and Reds. Ben Revere. Wait, I don't know if he played on Cincinnati. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get too <laughs> too crafty. Um, Phillies and Reds. I feel like there's like pitchers. Um, Phillies and A's. Here's a good one. Ryan Madsen. 2%. That's a great guess. And then Phillies and Reds. This is what I'm talking about. Getting a little crafty, right? You want to get crafty with it. You don't want to go with the obvious ones. Think about like bullpen guys. Phillies and Reds. Um, uh, Phillies and Reds. First base. Catcher. Um, I mean, I know I'm forgetting, forgetting some good ones, and this will be our final guess here as we pause the timer. Yes, it's gonna it's gonna beep. It's gonna beep. Yep, there it is. Okay. Final guess here, Phillies and Reds. We're moving a little bit slower today, but we wanted to take our time and get some pretty good guesses in. Phillies and Reds. Oh boy. I'm just I'm kind of drawing a blank. I'm drawing up a lot of different players, but I don't think they ever played for the Reds. Go through the Phillies, all right? Victorino, um, Pat Burrell, Ryan Howard, Chase Utley. Jimmy Rollins um, for the Reds, you know, Barry Larkin. Uh, um, I think of their guys, right? Votto, no. Um, Jay Bruce, Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce, Phillies and Reds, final answer, 5%, 101 on the rarity score. I love to see that. I love to see this immaculate grid. We'll take a look at the summary here, but I think the only number one answer we probably got was Canseco. And it was not Canseco. Mark McGuire. And then I would, dude, okay, so I was gonna say Pete Rose, Phillies, Reds, and I knew that one pretty quickly off the top, but I just didn't wanna guess it. Um, yeah, no number one answers. That's all you can really ask for in a lot of different ways. Um, but we had, let's see, some of the, some of the, lowest percentage categories so phillies and a's was pretty low percentage 54 percent jason giambi oh jeremy jeremy giambi uh not jason his brother jeremy i was hoping i don't know like i said big poppy 40 homer season that that makes sense manny probably number two um as we click on big poppy's page but yeah, I think, uh, let's see, average score was 7.6. Yeah, pretty pretty good performance today. I'm happy about that. We're back on the board. We were able to pull off a pretty solid immaculate grid. We had, I mean, I know we went over the five minutes, whatever, but we had one pick left when the time ran out, so we give ourselves that buzzer beater guess. And 101, I'm pretty happy about 101 on the rarity score. Um, you take out Jose Canseco and you take out Manny, and it's all a sub 15% board, which is pretty good. And um, without a timer, we would have gotten that. We just 
you know, we got to throw some guesses out there. So either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. September 5th, Immaculate Grid, rarity score of 101. Let me know in the comments how you guys performed, if you guys had any alternative guesses or answers. I love seeing in the comments like, oh, this, this, I guess this guy, you know, could not be, uh, you guys could be looking up the answers and then put it in the comments, but I like to see the alternative answers either way. I like to see low percentage boards. Um, and share it on social media. Tag me in it if you guys want to. Tag me at Ryan Knows Ball on Twitter. I love to see the immaculate grids that are going out on a daily basis. Uh, testing your knowledge, testing yourself up against me. Because all in all, we're all competing against each other, right? So either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to slap a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see all kinds of sports content, as you can clearly tell from the content on our channel. And otherwise, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.